5.5 focuses on irrigation or the large-scale watering of crops. Um, irrigation, by the way, is the largest human use of fresh water of all the water used by humans in the world. It occupies 70%. Uh, so that's it's a crazy amount of water that goes into our crops compared to you know, the city, town use, and our personal domestic use. So there are a few different types of irrigation that you need to know about. Furrow irrigation is the one in which they um, create these long channels and then put like water all on these channels and then it goes to the different rows of crops. It's really cheap, um, but it's very inefficient. Uh, only about a third or third, about a third of the water gets lost to evaporation and to runoff and never gets to the crops in the first place. And when you're, when you're trying to figure out the best way to irrigate, if you're already going to be using this water, or if you have to buy the water on top of that, um, you want to make sure that every drop or as much as possible is getting into your, into your crops. Flood irrigation is one in which you have just floods the entire field with water, hence the name flood irrigation. You can see it's, you know, it's really easy. It's cheap. Um, but the same thing, we also see a lot of water loss. Um, and also, so this is a rice paddy, um, and that's how they have to be grown. But in so doing, it also produces a lot of methane because it there's no oxygen getting down into the like the roots and vegetation down there and so it decomposes without oxygen a process that creates methane so when we're talking about when we talk about greenhouse gases later in the year this is going to come up again so just keep that in the back of your mind uh spray irrigation involves the pumping of groundwater into spray nozzles across an agricultural field same thing it's it's more efficient but it's still pretty inefficient because you're turning all this water into a mist uh, it's very really easy to evaporate, um, and also they're very expensive, and they require energy to run. And drip irrigation is the best. So drip irrigation uses little perforated hoses that run along the crops, and it just has a tiny little drip, 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 drip on the plant, um, and so it's much more efficient. Um, the water that is given to the plant, most of it gets used. It's awesome, but it's really, really expensive, um, so it's really used, unfortunately. Some issues that we see with irrigation, um, you also have to know about, are water logging. Water logging is when you have too much water left to sit in the soil, so the, the ground itself is just basically so saturated, it can't absorb anymore, so it starts to pool up on the top. That means the plants can't get oxygen. Uh, so they, they also take in oxygen through their roots. If they can't do that, then obviously they can die or at least be very negatively impacted. Next one is salinization or basically becoming salty. So in the groundwater they use, there's naturally occurring salts. Um, but if you've ever left salt water in the sun, you'll notice that the water evaporates, but salt does not. And salt's an ionic compound. It's really, really high boiling temperature, so it just doesn't have the energy to, to evaporate. So this means when the groundwater evaporates, the salt gets left behind, and that can become toxic to the plants. Um, we can remedy with this with a large amount of fresh water, but if we're already talking about like how do we water these plants efficiently, you know, this just adds more water that has to be used. And this is showing a field that's been affected very heavily by salinization. Next one is aquifer depletion. So uh, a great example of this is the Ogallala Aquifer in the Midwest. Um, it's under a whole bunch of farms. Um, and so they all use this, this aquifer to water their crops. Um, this goes back to the charge of the commons that if there's a public resource that's not monitored, not monitored, but like not regulated, then it gets overused. And that's exactly what we've seen. All right. In summary, um, describe the different methods of irrigation, flood, spray, furrow, and drip. And 
um, talk about their benefits and drawbacks. Benefits being which ones are cheaper, which ones are more expensive, um, which ones are more efficient. And they also want to know about the salinization and water logging and aquifer depletion. The end.